just we're, need okay. we're here just do we have a paper clip do we have a binder paper clip <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Tyler Mount and you're tuned in to the Tyler Mount Vlog. Y'all, I am coming to you today from my bedroom with a very special top secret guest. Kissing me, kissing me. It's my Broadway bestie. Ah! It's Leslie Margarita. Me. And she brightens my life and I'm so excited to invite her all the time to my house. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Leslie Margarita and I proudly present Matilda in three minutes. In three, two, one. The show begins with a million eight-year-old prodigies talking about how awesome they are, and I'm suddenly reminded how unsuccessful of a 26-year-old I am. Mrs. Wormwood, AKA Olivier Award-winning total Broadway superstar, massive hottie, me, goes to the hospital and realizes that she's nine months pregnant. Girl, you're stupider than Act One Glinda. Moving on. Mrs. W cares more about dancing, and her husband, AKA the Danny DeVito of Broadway, Mr. W, thinks his baby's ugly and he ain't got no time for it. Now we know how it must feel to be Alpha Buck. Five years later, that ugly ass baby is now a cute ass genius making thousands of dollars a week on Broadway. Not that I'm bitter, loves books, and hates her parents. Matilda is totes upset that her parents are like so vile, and she decides to get back at them by secretly bleaching her dad's hair bright green because at the end of the day, sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty. On Matilda's first day of school, aka the Shiz University of Broadway, we meet Miss Honey, a cutie with a booty and a big heart. She's totes impressed with Matilda's slay factor and asks Miss Trunchbull, the school's headmistress, to promote her to a higher grade. P.S. The Trunchbull is totes disgusting, overly sweaty, and played by a dude. Moral of the story, the Trunchbull is tacky and we hate her. After the Trunchbull refuses to listen to Miss Honey, Matilda goes home where her dad goes all Aaron Burr on her ass and ruins one of her books. Matilda ain't got no time for the shade and super glues her dad's hat to his head. The queen is not playing around. Back at school, we learn all about the Trunchbull's Chokey, aka a dark, scary closet where kids are said to be punished. You know what's worse than the Chokey? What? Why right after Labor Day at Hamilton closing? You make a point, moving on. Miss Honey decides to visit the Wormwoods to brag about Matilda, but her mom's all like, I ain't got no time for that. You gotta be loud! I have no idea how I booked this show. Back at school, the Trunchbull has her facial hair all in a bunch because some kid named Bruce ate her chocolate cake. I don't blame her. Ain't nobody touching my chocolate cake. Long story short, the Trunchbull makes Bruce eat the entire cake. When he gets taken to the choke, even though he finished, Matilda's all like, stop, queen, and everyone's like, <laughs> Welcome back to Act 2. Back on the farm, Lavender tells the audience about her plan to put a newt in the Trunchbull's water. Then all these millionaire Broadway babies are like, I will be strong enough to find... The next day, Miss Trunchbull finds the newt in her water jug and panics worse than that one time I won the Hamilton lottery. Matilda ain't got no time for the Trunchbull shade and uses her creepy mind sorcery to knock over the water jug. Ironically, the Trunchbull is scared of a little baby newt and sashays away right on out of class. And then Matilda says she's basically Elphaba and has creepy secret magic powers. I have creepy secret magic powers. Quick, what am I thinking of? Broadway. I was thinking about Broadway. Back at school, the Trunchbull gives everyone a spelling test. Being the sneaky lady that the Trunchbull is, she makes up a word to punish Lavender. P.S. How do you spell the Trunchbull as a Then all of a sudden, the students start spelling words wrong to stick up for Lavender. And then Matilda pulls a Wizard of Oz and scares Miss Trunchbull on scaredy pants with her freaky mind magic, and then the kids are all like, We are revolting children living in revolt. A few days later, Miss Honey wins the last will and testament lottery and gets all of her dad's money in house. And on top of that, Miss Honey becomes the new Madame Morrible at Matilda's school and is like, I'm gonna teach all you queens. Matilda's trashy ass parents arrive at the school and are like, Queen, we leave it. And Miss Honey is all like, Girl, you best not be taking Matilda away from me. So her parents are like, She's your problem now, bye. Miss Honey and Matilda live happily ever after, and everyone's all like, Sometimes. Sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty! <laughs> I am sweating at the thought of Matilda. <laughs> I am obsessed with you, Leslie. Thank you oh, for coming thanks. and um, hanging out with me today. Thank you. I and the Broadway queens around the universe appreciate it. Well, if you want more Leslie Margarita, be sure to catch her in the hit Broadway musical, Matilda, playing at the Schubert Theater, closing when? January 1st. Uh, <laughs> but you can still hang out with us in January at BroadwayCon, <laughs> January 27th through the 29th. Tickets at BroadwayCon.com. Be sure you're following Leslie on Twitter and Instagram at Queen Leslie. And me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter at Tyler G. Mount. Press the red subscribe button. Until next time, I'm Tyler. I'm Leslie. Reminding you to give love. Wow.